Hey guys, so it is Monday and I am shooting off my new vlogging camera that my family got for me for Christmas this year, which is very exciting and extremely sweet and thoughtful and kind of them. And I'm super excited to shoot on something that is of better quality than my iPhone 6S which still works, which is fine, but um, I definitely needed an update for these vlogs. I'm desperately trying to finish up the book I'm reading, which is Star Wars Leia, Princess of Alderaan, which is an enjoyable book, and the plot is kind of starting to pick up a little bit. We spent a lot of time in the beginning of the story kind of just getting to know Leia and her role as a princess. Like She's doing a lot of humanitarian work and has to go on these physical challenges. And it just confirms <laughs> how annoying I think it is that everyone's like, oh, she's General Leia now. I think there is a lack of respect for the princess title. And so it's like, oh, well, she can't be taken seriously unless she's a general. And I hate it. And I like that this book is like, nope, she is a princess. I have been talking to a few friends extensively about my query and what I want to do with my book. Once January rolls around, um, my place of work, the hours get cut significantly for three weeks, which isn't a huge deal. It's in fact kind of exciting because it means that I'll have a lot of free time to A, work on videos, but also to work on my book and really bang some things out. So I've been talking to some friends extensively about my query and about cutting my prologue. A lot of fantasy books use prologues to establish some action, some fear, who the main antagonist is, or the magic system right away so you get that taste before it has to slow down and jump to actually establishing the world and um, character building and all that. My prologue has always been pretty long. It's about 20 pages because it is like a significant event in my character's main protagonist's past that changed everything about the world and him and his family dynamics. And so I always like the idea of showing that right away but i have been hearing that prologues are out of favor with literary agents some of my friends have suggested that it would also be more interesting to discover along the way like you know something happened but it's a little bit of a mystery exactly what happened audience that is reading the book discovers it along the way with the main character sort of, or is discovering it through the main character. Okay, that sounds like a good idea. It also sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> Those are my main objectives for today. So I'm gonna get to work, take you guys with me, and I will check back in with you guys in a little bit. My reading nook. <laughs> everyone so it is tuesday december 31st new year's eve oh these bangs i realize i better get a clip in before i take the dogs out a walk because it is very windy out and sorry i didn't get any more clips of last night i ended up needing to go to the store go get gas came home walked the dogs ate food and by the time i sat down again to read more of leia princess of Alderaan, it was like eight o'clock at night it's like i'm not gonna be on camera <laughs> although before i read more of that book i've been very so as i'm sure all of you know the movie cats came out apparently it's extremely cringe as everyone predicted it would be However, that did spark my interest in, I believe her name is Aline, Aline Page's rendition of Memories, the, you know, main solo from that musical. And it's so good. And then I was listening to a bunch of different versions of it last night. And then I started listening to other songs from Cats and they don't make any sense. This musical is still very strange and bamboozling to me, but like the, they're, they're catchy, they're kind of fun. So I've had like cats songs in my head. Anyway, so today is New Year's Eve. I'm gonna go to work, but then leave as soon as possible because everyone is coming to my place uh, to pregame before going out. And because I'm gonna get dolled up, 
I like to film videos. <laughs> so I need to do some filming. I would like to finish some editing. I would like to do some writing. And then I gotta clean, because it is a wreck. And I kind of didn't realize until right before I went to bed, I was like, oh wait, people are coming here? <laughs> this place is a disaster. I haven't cleaned it since my family left. So I have plenty to do today. I'm gonna get a lot of caffeine in me. And I'm just uh, super excited. I love New Year's and it's not just like a new year, it's a new decade. I feel, I feel good about 2020, guys. <laughs> Hey guys, so obviously back at my place and I'm about to start drinking some <gasps> margarita light mix. Uh, kind of trashy, but it's my favorite store drink. Look at this jewel. One of the kids put on my head. Like I forgot it was on my forehead when I talked to my boss when I went to Starbucks and when I went to Target. So I'm like, well, I might as well embrace it. I can't decide if this is how I wanna wear my hair. And then obviously ignore the cardigan, it's just cold in my house, but just a nice little velvet slip of a dress high neck, which is partially why I want to have my hair up and back because there's already so much of me that's gonna be like covered that I feel like it would be too much. I would almost look like a floating head if I didn't have my hair up, but I haven't decided completely. So my friends are gonna be over here in a little bit. I should film a video now while I'm dressed up. Hmm, I think I have some time. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. Mwah. everyone so it is actually January 2nd 2020 and I didn't film at all January 1st let me back up so on December 31st I woke up with a sore throat and a runny nose and I knew that if I was going to go out that night and drink and party and stay out late that I was going to um, suffer <laughs> the next day pretty hard but I still did all that anyway it was so fun all my friends came over and they were dressed up and they looked so good and we went out to this like crazy crazy packed club I've never been anywhere so um congested which had its ups and downs but it was really fun we watched the ball drop and we were dancing and screaming and partying and drinking um i didn't go to bed until like three or four in the morning and then <laughs> i ended up sleeping like over 18 hours yesterday which is insane for me i usually only sleep like six to seven hours a night but yesterday not only was i hung over but my immune system i could feel like just needed time to try to recover which was fine i watched uh several episodes of the witcher which i'm definitely going to talk about in a later video read a little bit but like i said i mostly just slept so today it's already 3 p.m and i've just spent all day, morning, afternoon, <sighs> finally taking down all of my Christmas decorations, packing up all the ornaments. I feel so much better, by the way, other than a little bit of like congestion. I'm completely fine. I've read a little bit of the Leia book, but I want to really, really get through, if not the whole book, the majority of the book today, so I can start on some other books, because it's already the beginning of January, and I'm like, wait, I have so many more books to get through. Hope that your guys' 2020 is starting out really well. I mean, I know yesterday doesn't sound super fun on my end, but it also gave me a lot of time for reflection and thinking about what it is that I want for this new year, this new decade, reassessing my goals, reassessing what I want to do with certain aspects of my life. Overall, it's been, it's been good. It's been nice.
Okay, so I've been reading for the last hour or so, and that's been going pretty well, and I'm going to continue to read for another 30 minutes, but I had to get up, make a phone call, get some more hot tea, and then I decided to do some yoga. I don't know if y'all have heard of Yoga with Adrienne, but she's on YouTube and she rules because my neck has been killing me. And I've always not had back issues, but I have very mild scoliosis and the fact that I sit around and read and write a lot of my days just puts a lot of tension there. But I think I legitimately got whiplash from dancing so hard at the club. So, yoga with Adrian, I was in so much pain, <laughs> but it feels so good now, and it was only a 10 minute routine. So I think I'm gonna link that down in the description below because like, y'all should try it, it felt really good. <laughs> but like I said, I'm gonna continue to read for a little bit more before I get ready for the night, and then I think I'm gonna read a little bit more before bed. I'm really trying to get through this book quickly. I think that's one of my main issues with books sometimes, especially those that seem deceivingly short. Like, oh, it's not going to take me very long to read this book, so I'm not going to be very aggressive when it comes to reading it. And it's like, no, I got to be aggressive with every single book I read if I actually want to get through them quickly. Definitely a lesson I'm trying to take with me in 2020. Friends, I know I might not look like I've changed from this spot on the couch at all, but I swear I've just had a whole entire day. <laughs> I think this is where I'm gonna end my vlog for the week, even though I'm not done with Leia yet. But I had such the writing revelation. It was nuts. So for one, I have been desperately working on my query letter and I have had so many people look at it. Most of my friends too are extremely talented and know a thing or two when it comes to literary stuff and storytelling. I had one friend and she's looked at it before. She just gave the most brutally intense query feedback I have ever received and it was so good. I just feel like it unlocked a whole new world for me. Okay, so that was in the query realm, which I'm just so excited about. And then I finally actually started working on my manuscript and I realized that I was going to have to cut the prologue to my story. This prologue, which I've worked so hard on for so long. And because it is the beginning of my story, I have shown it to so many people, have gotten tons of feedback on it, polished it up real nice. And after some more discussions, I was like, I gotta cut it. And I have to intersperse that information through various like flashbacks or memories throughout the story, rather than it being an event that we all experienced together at the beginning. Pretty sure I've talked about this. So then I went to my chapter one, Although technically, if you include the prologue, it's my chapter two. I'm trying to put a lot of information and a lot of world building into this chapter. If you write fantasy, then you know what I mean. It's <laughs> throwing people into a new world, especially one that's extremely complex and has fantastical elements to it is hard um, and hard to do so gracefully. And I realized that I needed to try something different. Not completely go in a new direction narratively necessarily, but I just needed to completely rewrite that chapter. So I just started, opened up a new document and started writing it out and I couldn't believe how much I fucking loved it. And the words were coming so easily to me and part of this is that I have been building this world and living in this world and thinking about these things for so long that it was so easy to very casually adding world building and past information into this first chapter while still keeping it kind of quirky and funny. I'm so happy with the direction it's going and I worked on it for about 
three hours between the query and this first chapter before I called it good for the day. Tomorrow being Saturday, I would like to get in another two hours at least. Finishing up the first chapter, I would say I got about halfway done. Um, so I'd like to round out this first chapter, send it to my friend that gave me such the brutal query critique, and then see what kind of feedback she offers before I get really nitty gritty on a line by line level. I just want to see if the type of writing style and presentation I'm going with is interesting and doing what I think it's doing. So overall, truly fantastic writing day. And I've been thinking about it all day too, and just about how excited I am to get back to the project. And I think a part of me was always worried that, oh, if I have to rewrite part of this manuscript, it's gonna be so hard, it's gonna feel like a chore. And it's like, no, 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 honey. <laughs> Your head has been in this world for so long. It's so easy to pull out random facts that you have been storing for close to three years. I'm just really excited to continue on this writing journey. So, I'm going to get to reading my Leia Princess of Alderaan book. I don't know if I'll finish it tonight, but I would like to get at least another 50 pages in. And if I could finish it by the end of this weekend, I will be beyond thrilled. I'm sure I will be vlogging more with you guys very soon, but I hope that you enjoyed this kind of wacky reading vlogging week or so. Happy 2020. I hope that you are also, if not already exceeding your goals or expectations, at least discovering new about yourself or your projects too. So if you like this kind of video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my book reviews, writing related content, or reading writing vlogs in the future. I love you guys and I will see you next time. Bye.